had the opportunity to watch this guy fight, but if he's, he's training with Corey, he's one of Corey's coaches, he's got to be very skilled. Yep. Now about to step into the cage is one half of the first ever brother duo to debut together on a Cage Wars card. This is Jason Hackett. Very interesting character here, as you guys know. You see the wrestling tattoo on him. Absolute madman in and out of the cage. And uh, they really seem to go hard in that gym because they're brothers. They give each other that extra mile, if you will. So it's interesting to see how that's going to translate here. Well, you know, we, we've had success with brothers in the past, the Doolin brothers. Yes, sir. And who knows, <laughs> if they're home watching, exactly. Doolin brothers, we got brothers versus brothers, guys. Come on. Come on. Jay and I had the opportunity to sit down with both of the Hackett brothers at the same time, uh, do an interview on Against the Cage. You guys can find that on the Cage Wars Facebook page. And they're both very humble, kind gentlemen, but at the same time, they just got that hankering for violence. You know, that's one thing I tend to see in wrestlers is a level of humility because that's a sport that will humble even the largest ego. Absolutely. He messaged me and asked me if it was okay for him to wear UFC shorts in the cage. I said, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about brand marketing and we're not. <laughs> Enter Jason Hackett in the nice, UFC Venom kit. Nice shorts though. They are, yeah. I'm glad to see they transitioned over to Venom, a, a company that knows a little bit more about combat sports. Them shorts are, tend to be more comfortable than the other ones anyway. Walkout songs on point tonight. You know, and there's got to be a level of, of comfortability having Corey Norman in your corner, whether you're his coach or not. This is his home turf. He's competed in this arena so many times. There's just got to be that level of, of comfort for both of them. As I said, he's perhaps one of the greatest fighters. You know, if it's him and Brendan Kennedy, 1A and 1B. And you see there also Joseph Kaiser, who made a successful debut against Sean Wellington recently. I believe that was back in September, is also in the corner of the debuting A.J. Morales. And I got a chance to talk to A.J. earlier, and he was saying he had no nerves. Uh, the only time he his mind wouldn't shut off is when he tried to take an hour nap earlier. But other than that, he was ready to go. He just wanted to have fun. So. And really, that's not to be understated for the folks at home who may be watching that might not understand that nerves leading up to a fight, even if you're trying to stay calm, wear on the energy. Exactly. And if it's your first fight like this, gentlemen, you know, it could go either way. So, you know, it's always interesting to see how each person deals with it. Exactly. Now, for the folks at home, you'll notice that these gentlemen have shin guards on. That's because they are competing in novice rules MMA. After the introduction, we are gonna, we're going to kind of elaborate on that more. But for now, we're going to get ready to bring it up to Mike Falvo. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cage Wars 50 here in the Event Center, the Rivers Casino and Resort in Schenectady, New York, New York's premier gaming destination. Once again, my name is Mike Falvo. I am your cage announcer for this evening. Cage Wars 50 is brought to you by Cage Wars MMA and by County Waste and Recycling, MetaJules, U.S. Steam Fitters, local number seven, Plumbers and Steam Fitters, Sticker Mule, Bricklayers, local number two, Allied Craft Workers, Shenanigans Gentlemen's Club, Ryan Clark Realty, Against the Cage with Ben and Jay. And also we want to welcome our friends from Mission Accomplished who are joining us at Cage Side this evening as well. The judges for our opening contest of the evening are Mr. John Bernard, Rob Exisa, and Mike Walter. The fight doctor at Cape Side is Dr. Michael Sheridan. And now without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we are streaming live on Stimulus.com via CageWarsMMA.com. Let's do this! Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 153.8 pounds, representing Team Bear Hug out of Corning, New York, Jason Hackett. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 155.2 pounds, representing OP MMA out of Orchard Park, New York, AJ Morales. And the man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell is Mr. Matt Goler. Two slightly uh, different dispositions in the cage right now. Adrian a little bit more calm. Uh, Hackett a little bit more wound up. You can Jumpy. see he's red, red from beating his chest. <laughs> chest a little bit there. 
we got our buddy Matt calling the action here. So again, for the folks at home, you notice the shin guards, that's novice rule set, meaning they've had less than three fights. In novice rule set, you cannot ground and pound to the face if the fight goes to the ground, only to the body. Opening up with some kicks. Ooh. There he goes. First shot here, almost running over the referee in the process. Oh, had to work there. He definitely looks comfortable to stand there and bang, though. It's not like he's rushing to, to look all. for that shot. They're both light on the feet, bouncing around, losing, using some angles. Morales looks a lot more calm. Nice catch. But Morales got that chin high, too. That, that can be a detriment with a oh. heavy-handed guy. He's got that chin way high. Yeah, Hackett's got more of that karate stance, that linear stance, which you don't often see with, from a wrestler. Yeah, so exactly. That was something that kind of surprised me off the bat there, seeing how he's moving around that way. Oh! Ooh. Right hand, right down the pipe. Goes, goes right for the, the back. Oh, he's got it under the chin. He's got it under the chin. Is he going to tap or is he going to go to sleep? He's, oh, I don't think he's allowed to do that there. Oh, yeah. oh not on the ground. To the head, you're right. He's trying hard He's to fight off. the hands A lot here. of credit for him. Most wow. guys would give up by now. Exactly. Matt Goller in there looking for the, the signal. It's a little dangerous when they're down here because you don't know if they're out. He's Flash moving his feet. He's moving his feet. Yep. This is incredible, man. Like you said, a lot of people don't hang in there this no, long. Nope, not at all. He's going to try to sneak out. Wow, oh. look at oh that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The crowd pops heavy for the resiliency nice. of A.J. Morales. He's got nice arm control, got on the right side. Now, Will, if you are A.J. Morales, what do you do in this situation? Uh, you know, compose yourself. Get to, a, yep. get to a good position, compose yourself, and then attack. It takes a lot of energy to throw that rear naked choke in and not have it work out for him yeah, either. And did he burn out his arms in that process? Now, Jay, you're more the striking expert here as far as I would be, you know, as far as my knowledge goes. Here in the clinch, uh, what do you do if you are Jason Hackett to score some points here and win this round? Yeah, try to get him back on the ground because uh, uh, he's a little bit. Oh, 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 he looked for the high. He looked for the good sportsmanship. <laughs> Protect yourself at all, at all times. times. Yes, sir. And you know, when I used to ref fights, I used to tell the guys that you know what, communicate with each other if you're going to do a hand touch because uh -huh. you got to protect yourself 100 percent of the time. It's do not the old head anybody else's responsibility. Hackett's got him against Cage. Let's see what he can do with that pressure. AJ doing a nice job keeping some separation, keeping him off the hips. We see smiling. Hackett coming in. Well, how can you not smile after, after escaping that? Wow. That's definitely win, loss, or draw. A little win right there for AJ Morales. Amazing composure. Under Certain level of, a lot of confidence. Guys, we've seen a lot of guys tap before they even get it fully singed. All right, so a wow. rough first round for AJ Morales. He gets dropped, almost choked out there in the process. Gentlemen, if you had to give him advice in the corner, what do you say to AJ Morales? I'd say just keep calm and, and, be, and do exactly what he's been doing. Kind of letting Jay rush in on him a little bit and, and uh, letting him actually dictate it in a, in a way where He's actually using a lot more energy than AJ used that whole round. And it's interesting, you guys kind of called it a little bit of prediction of sorts, saying his chin was up too high. Next thing you know, he's on the mat. So maybe that's a correction they'll make in the corner here. I, I hope so, especially being the shorter guy. It really, when you put that chin up there, you're asking for bad things to happen. Yep. You know, the one thing I would ta tell AJ too is watch the footwork. When he brings those feet in together in that linear plane attack, Take perfect, the, perfect take the take leg down. out from the table. Yep. We saw big, heavy breaths here in the corner of Jason Hackett. Let's yeah. see if maybe the Having gas tank is starting to go bad at him. Having a rear naked choke in that long will definitely gas your arms out pretty quick. And as we noted, he was amped up from the beginning. Yep. So here we go, round two. Adrenaline plays a key part. Oh, yep. right hand again yep. finds its mark. Oh! oh. That Landing. right hand is there. And, and, you know, AJ stances. dropping that left hand, though. That's he almost a ate idea. a knee there for a second, shooting in on that leg. And to the fo for the folks at home, a knee to the face is That's illegal in, in amateur MMA. It, but in one of those situations, if I may kind of touch on a gray area here, what if you're shooting for the takedown and need a knee? Does that, what does that constitute? I would, I would assume they would stop the fight and let them a little break. Yes. It would probably end in a no contest if the fight couldn't it, continue. If he couldn't then. continue. Yeah. AJ working for that leg. Hackett working to stay on top. 
little bit of ground and pound of the body, which again is allowed in Novice. No, he's going to end up potentially giving up the back completely here in but this again, exchange. But he, again, he already kind of gave up the back, so is he more comfortable at this point? I'm going to say he's more comfortable because he awesome, couldn't right? finish it before, and now he's even, his gas tank's even less than it was before. And if you notice, he's dropping that left shoulder to the mat, so he's not 100% just perpendicular, so it's yeah. going to be a little bit harder to get that neck. He's doing a good job of hand control. He's communicating with his corner. You saw him there, shake his head. Those are some nice gloves. Those have the Cage Wars logo on them? Ooh, Correct. the hooks in. He got the hooks in. Hopefully, he don't flatten them out. But flatten them out here, the only thing he can go for. Oh, got the neck, neck again. again. Wow. Oh, man. He just snatched that thing up like he was trying to steal it from him. He's got him. that arm control again. Yep, two on one. For the folks at home who might not be familiar, AJ's taking both his hands to control that cho the, the choking arm behind the head. And Baseball it's grip. interesting. We saw a lot of fighters stuck in this situation before that wouldn't fight the hands. He's got full mount now. Like Ricardo Henderson, Michael Asifo. Uh, Ricardo didn't fight the hands at all, and we saw how that worked out for him. So right now, he's in mount. He's controlling this round. And we could arguably say, you know, he won that first he round. He dropped so, him. He almost I mean, him. If he can, Matt Goller doing a nice job standing him up. So A.J. Morales has to do something here to, to steal this round. A.J. looks a little bit winded now, too. All right, they do actually touch gloves this time. See, and again, when Hackett brings those feet together, that's yeah, when A.J. has got to close the distance. Head. But you don't generate any power when you do that, either. Oh. Against the cage. AJ doing a good job, circling, getting off the cage, putting Hackett against it. Let's see what he can do here. It's been the opposite for, so far. Hopefully it makes him wear, wear a little bit of his weight, but nice knee by both gentlemen. If you guys watch when Adrian oh, Morales oh, was on. Oh, nice, nice headlock takedown. Yeah, bulldog choke going here. And now something like that, he's, AJ is going to be familiar with coming from a catch wrestling school like Corey's. AJ ends up having the back, less than 10 seconds. Trying to perhaps do something interesting there. Let's go for a can opener. You know, uh, banana split. Uh, before I say anything, who do you think won that round, Ben? I'm untrained, unprofessional, but this I would have to say we're looking two up for Mr. Hackett. Oh. Think, Jay. I would say two for Hackett. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Again, you never know what a judge is going to see. Correct. When I took the ABC course with Dan Mergliata, he said to us, he said, listen, you don't know what that judge sees. You don't know if there's a pole in the way. You don't know what they're seeing that you might not. Yep. So you never know how they're going to judge it. There's always different angles to a fight. Corey Norman in there talking to AJ. Jason Hackett in his corner, his brother in there. What the hell's going on? And now for the folks at home, there's only one minute in between rounds, so there's not a lot of time for these fighters to recover and for their coaches to disseminate some information and instruction. <laughs> yep. This should be an interesting round. AJ's got to do something if he wants it. He's yeah, I have mean, to if, finish him. If I was Corey Norman, I would be telling my guy, you got to go for a submission or a, or a TKO. And knockout. If you look in his eyes, he almost looks like he feels like he's starting to slip here. You can tell that realization is setting in that yep. he could be potentially two rounds down. Yep. That cross seems to be landing all night for Hackett as well. AJ's stalking him. He, he knows he's got to put some pressure on him. Oh, him. right hand, left hook by Hackett. Overhand right. Hackett knows what's landing. Give it to him, you know? Nice knee by AJ, trying to get himself off that cage. A little shot to the body there, not really doing too much. But again, you're making him think. If you yeah. just sit there and let him dictate, let him do. Will, let me bring this back to your knowledge again. You know, you sit back and you look at what's happened over the last two rounds. If you are in AJ Morales' corner, what are you yelling to him right now? Uh, get off the cage. Get, get off, the off the cage, get his back, get, get a hit, get something. Pumble under and get yes. out of there. You need to create angles. You, you need to get in a more dominant position. Because right now, he's wearing Hackett's weight, as Jay mentioned yeah. earlier. AJ's looking a little bit tired, too. Oh, here we go. He's trying to work for the neck. But again, Hackett, nice job. Two on one. Nice. You know, you see these Hackett brothers, small town USA residents. You wouldn't expect this level from them, knowing nice. what you nice. know about them from that interview. Oh, 
Cage grab from AJ. Yep. The referee reminding him. You know, and it's easier said than done. When you're in there, the that's reaction, instinct. reaction. Yeah, yeah instinct up, so. kicks in. At what point, though, do you think a point gets taken? He warned him twice. He did twice in a row. It might be one more time. Yeah. AJ holding on to the neck here, but that's not doing much. Like you said, just one of those things to make him think. we got about a minute and 20 See, seconds he, left in this round. In so. this position, he's just keeping him in a position that Jason can be perfectly comfortable in. Yeah, let him ride out the minute and 12 seconds yep. we have left, and he's got himself a win, potentially. See, this position, if it was the regular Amy, Amy rules, he'd be able to throw punches to the face, but he's got that stomach open right now and put his... He put his, uh, left now, if you out. notice, Hackett's working to the back. Check back pretty easily there. You see the beautiful face of Mike Hunnold off in the background. Working up, trying to soften him up so he turns. This has been domination from Jason Hackett. Right in front of the mission accomplished media table here, giving our friends a great view of the action. Here we go, 30 seconds left of this first fight. Here you go for the the third attempt. He's working on Morales' shoulder and neck. He slid that hook in. Now again, it is. even if he doesn't get this rear naked choke, it just it's control right points, to the mouth. Control points. He's been glue on, on AJ Morales this whole fight. Ground a pound to the belly. AJ doing the smart thing. We'll come up in the final seconds. That's it. Right down. You know, I, Mark results on here. If you bravo want. to both these gentlemen for making it all three rounds, but I think decisively Jace, Jason Hackett won that Absolutely. Fight. Good show of respect, especially since that little, I think <laughs> I, I think it was more a heat of the moment. Exactly. Kind of not realizing. Yep. <laughs> you know, they're both good sportsmen. I think it was one of, they, they're both, they're both pretty well out of gas right now, which, it's to be expected. Exactly. I mean, three minute rounds, three rounds. Your first, you know, and you're, I know, you're, 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 when you first get in there, there's so many variables that you got you, the crowd that's different. Your 10th you know. fight, it still sucks. Exactly. Corey Norman will tell you. You know yeah. what I mean? By the time there's you're that, done, you're done. There's anxiety you don't even know exists. Yes. That's why hats off to every one of these athletes that has the courage to go to through the training, the training camp and step in this cage. It's not just stepping through the cage, it's making it through training camp. It's committing. It's sacrificing things that you love yep. to try to get the best opportunity to win here. Yep. Absolutely. Corey Norman and his OP MMA counterparts await the decision. Again, from where we sit, we're thinking it's the blue corner, Jason Hackett. You know, congratulations to him. If that's the case, we're going to throw it up to Mike Falvo. We'll get the official results. Hack is just exhausted over there. Well, again, he was so was worked good. up. Your, your, your adrenaline and your epinephrine, norepinephrine, yeah. it doesn't matter how, what kind of shape you're and in, you know once, that. Once that dumps, which is a good debut for him, too, I'd say that. Absolutely, he really did a nice job. A lot of, lot of awareness there, you know. All right, here we go, Mike Falvo. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these two gray warriors and one hell of an opening match. And after three hard fought rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges scorecard. All three judges score the fight 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Jason Hackett.